a number of years ago when I was sitting for my sommelier accreditation, in addition to the academic portion, each week we would taste wine. One evening we were getting ready to taste a white wine. As was the custom, we were going through the five S's of tasting. See, swirl, sniff, sip, and savor. Now, when we got to the sniff, I'm thinking, this is all wrong. And I glanced around the room. See, I wanted to see if any of the other budding sommeliers were having any misgivings about what we were nosing. Within seconds, our master noticed I was looking around at the others. Our eyes locked and she asked me, so what is it you're picking up? Now, in an attempt to eliminate any eye contact whatsoever, I looked at my glass. <laughs> she again asked, what are you picking up? Now, the others could see she was looking right straight at me. So, of course, they all looked at me and avoided her eye contact and were all completely silent. I said something innocuous like, honeydew, grapefruit, passion fruit, and breaking eye contact as best I could, I looked back at my glass. And she said, and? I said, quite frankly, there are undertones of, well, notes of cat pee. <laughs> well, the room erupted. It erupted in laughter, grunts and groans, and then some affirmation and a few minutes of discussion, at which point our master asked us to taste. Now I'm thinking, no way. But realizing if I died, she'd be up for manslaughter, I reluctantly tried. I sipped. Phenomenal. That wine was absolutely phenomenal. Now in this video, we're going to learn about five things about Sauvignon Blanc, a bit of Sauvignon Blanc's history, where it is from, the basics of Sauvignon Blanc, its different aromas and taste profiles, and number five would be the basic food pairings, plus a little bonus at the end. You're going to learn some unique and interesting things about Sauvignon Blanc, clear up a little confusion about the wine, and show you how, in some rare cases, with some of the best Sauvignon Blancs out there, we can be somewhat deceived. Also, there'll be a little bonus at the end. Now, keep in mind, if at any time you like what you hear, click like or subscribe or hit the little bell so you'll be notified when there are new posts. Sauvignon Blanc, a bit of history. At this point, it has not been determined exactly, but Sauvignon Blanc traces its origin to Western France in the Loire Valley, which is in the Northwest and Bordeaux, which is in the southwest. The grape most likely gets its name from the French word sauvage, which means wild, and blanc, which means white. It's a white grape that grows on wild vines. Now, if you see a French wine with the name Pouille Fumé or Sancerre, it's a Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire Valley. The first cuttings of Sauvignon Blanc were brought to California in the 1880s. Those plantings did really well in the Livermore Valley, which is across the, the bay from San Francisco next to Oakland. In 1968, the wine acquired the alias Fumé Blanc. This was a marketing term coined by Robert Mondavi as he rode the coattails of France's wildly popular Sauvignon Blanc name Puy Fumé. Now, this, this, this is great. Listen to this. Mondavi was offered a very good crop of Sauvignon Blanc grapes by a grower. And it was at a great price, so he bought it. At that time, the variety had a very poor reputation in California. Now, listen to this. This is great. He decided to alter the flavor with barrel aging, then released it under the name Fumé Blanc as an allusion to the French Sauvignon Blanc called Puy Fumé. This was a literal smoke and mirror deal. Mondavi made some money and was able to keep his business afloat. It was an absolute hit. Now, shortly after that, the Sauvignon Blanc grape was introduced to New Zealand in the 1970s. With the downturn in popularity of 
over oak Chardonnay in the 1980s, Sauvignon Blanc was the white wine that benefited the most. Number two, where it grows. We'll see here that over 75% of all Sauvignon Blanc is grown in five countries. The primary area, both in France and in the entire planet, is Bordeaux. It does incredibly well by itself, but however, when you see a white wine from Bordeaux, generally that's a Sauvignon Blanc with a little Simeon blended in with it. In the Loire Valley, the Upper Valley produces wines with incredible character. It's zesty, crisp, unoaked, and aromatic. This is where Puy Fumé calls home. In Loire's Central Valley, it's called Sancerre. New Zealand is the number two production area in the world and it has undoubtedly become the new home of Sauvignon Blanc in the world. More land is devoted to this varietal than either in the Loire Valley or Bordeaux. 70% of all New Zealand wine is Sauvignon Blanc, the huge majority of which comes out of the Marlborough region. Now Chilean Sauvignon Blancs are noticeably less acidic than the wines of New Zealand. The region of Valparaiso has the most notable wines due to its cooler climate. This allows the grapes to be picked up to six weeks later than in other parts of Chile. The cooler parts of California's Sonoma and Napa regions are producing some nice Sauvignon Blancs. In Australia, the variety has become the most drunk wine, overtaking even the country's iconic Shiraz. In Italy, the cool area of Alto Alderage and Frioli in the north produce high quality Sauvignon Blancs. They're often blended. Number three, the basics of Sauvignon Blanc. You'll find its style runs the gamut. Anything from medium to high acid levels. Medium plus acid is most typical. A light to medium body, which is reflection uh, and crisp on the palate, medium alcohol, 10 to 12, 10 to 13 percent, and anything from dry to sweet styles. Most are vinified, totally dry though. As with all white wines, no tannins. Uh, it's a late budding and early ripening grape that makes it ideal for cool climates. How are you doing there? Is this information making sense? If it is, write SB in the comments below or ASTI in the comments below. Number four. Taste profile. This is a unique tasting white wine with strong herbaceous flavors which come from the same compounds found in bell peppers. The major fruit essences of Sauvignon Blanc are grapefruit, honeydew, gooseberry, green apple, uh, lime, white peach, and passion fruit. On this chart you can see some of the diversity in the wine, both by category on the left side of the chart and the aromas and taste on the right side of the chart. Herbaceous, floral, citrus, tropical fruits, stone fruits, pip fruits, minerals. <laughs> this is actually where the cat pee comes in. While this smell is not all that common, it's typically experienced with some of the better wines. Oak, that brings uh, toasty and vanilla flavors. Uh, there are other notes uh, you see there. Sweat. Uh, some call it armpit. <laughs> really, when you smell it, you'll agree. It's like kind of like the cat pee. It's somewhat unusual and is found in some of the good wines. The basic taste profile comes from the Loire Valley, Bordeaux, New Zealand, and California. Even though there are four basic profiles, my chart shows six, and I'll show you why in a second. We're going to skip around the chart a little, so follow along closely. The wines from the Loire Valley tend to be lean and crisp with more herbal flavors. Medium body with a touch of smoke and an absence of oak. The most popular is Sancerre. Actually, as you can see on the chart, Chile and the last California on the chart can sort of be squeezed into the Loire profile. Bordeaux, France produces the highest volume. The most prominent Sauvignon Blanc from Bordeaux is blended with the Simeon grape. Now personally, I love this expression. It's both light and fruity, and as you can see, 
the light layered flavors will keep you coming back. New Zealand is the most popular expression in the marketplace today. The cool maritime climate allows for a long, steady growing season. The grapes can ripen and develop a natural balance of acids and sugars. This is a big harvest operation. The grapes are machine harvested, loaded into enormous trucks, taken to the winery and fermented at cooler temperatures in stainless steel tanks. This leads the wines to offer more green tropical fruits along with citrus, especially grapefruit. You'll also find a touch of residual sugar which counterbalances the high acidity. California, actually California Sauvignon Blancs tend to fall into two styles. One is the Mondavi influenced Fumé Blanc, more round with melon notes. Uh, it sees oak and MLF which creates a taste much like a barrel fermented Chardonnay. The other is the New Zealand influenced Sauvignon Blanc, displaying more tropical fruit undertones with citrus and passion fruit notes. Finally, you'll find both oaked and unoaked Sauvignon Blancs marked under the name Fumé Blanc. Now, is that confusing? <laughs> you bet it is. Now, to oversimplify Sauvignon Blanc, you've got the Australia and New Zealand big grapefruit as one category, the small, limited production California Mondavi style by itself, and everything else all bunched together. Number five is our food pairing. Sauvignon Blanc is perfect with anything that has basil, lime, avocado, or garlic in it. These wines are wonderful with herb-driven sauces, salty cheeses, light meats, light white fish, seafood, poultry salads, Asian foods. You can't go wrong with angel hair pasta with basil pesto or, or um, yellowtail sushi with avocado or English pea ravioli with crab or lobster. You know, but personally, I think it pairs best with summer patios, linen shirts, and gauzy blouses. Well, there you have it. Everything you need to know about Sauvignon Blanc. Well, almost. Hang in there for a quick bonus at the end. But first, let me say thank you for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If it was, make sure you subscribe or click like and ring the little bell to turn on notifications. Let me know if you have any comments below. If there's someone you know that's interested in wine, make sure you share this video with them. I'd really appreciate that. You ready for the added bonus? If you want the, to check out the best Sauvignon Blancs in the world under $40 or the best Sauvignon Blancs in the world under $15, Click their respective links in the description below. Now, don't forget to enter your discount code ASTI Wines at checkout. Again, that's ASTI Wines. Folks, thanks for being with me. I'm here to help and serve you as we learn more about wine together. I look forward to you joining me on social media and on my website. All those links are in the description below. Until next time. Cheers.